the last property of Fourier transform is duality and we will first understand the property and then we will prove it. Let's say there is a time domain signal xt and this time domain signal is having the Fourier transform equal to x j omega and for simplicity I will write x j omega as x omega and according to the duality property if we have a time domain signal xt then its Fourier transform will be equal to 2 pi multiplied to x minus omega. So this is the duality property and now we will understand what is happening in this property. Initially we are having a time domain signal small xt where t is the independent variable of this signal and it is time. Now the signal is having the Fourier transform capital X omega where omega is the independent variable of this signal and it is angular frequency. Now take this signal and replace omega by t you will have a time domain signal capital X t and when this happens this signal will have the Fourier transform equal to 2 pi multiplied to x t when t is replaced by minus omega. So in this way we will have the signal which is small x minus omega and I know it is little bit difficult to understand duality property initially but after understanding its proof and solving few examples you will understand it completely. So let's move towards the proof of duality property. I will use the inverse Fourier transform to prove the duality property and we know using the inverse Fourier transform we will have signal xt from its Fourier transform x omega. So xt is equal to 1 over 2 pi integration minus infinity to infinity Fourier transform x omega multiplied to e power j omega t d omega and now I will replace t by minus t. So we will have x minus t on the left hand side and on the right hand side we have 1 over 2 pi integration minus infinity to infinity x omega multiplied to e power minus j omega t d omega. After this we will multiply 2 pi on both the sides. So we have 2 pi x minus t on the left hand side and after multiplying 2 pi on the right hand side this 2 pi and 2 pi will cancel out. So finally we are having 2 pi x minus t on the left hand side and on the right hand side we have integration minus infinity to infinity x omega multiplied to e power minus j omega t d omega and now we will replace the variable t by omega and not only this we will also replace omega by t. So simply we are interchanging t and omega. After doing this we will have 2 pi x minus omega on the left hand side. This t will be replaced by omega and on the right hand side we have integration minus infinity to infinity x t. This omega will be replaced by t and in case of e power minus j omega t if you replace omega by t and t by omega we are going to get the same result. So we have e power minus j omega t and here we have d omega so we will have dt now. So you can clearly see we are having the formula of Fourier transform. This is the formula of Fourier transform and in this scenario it is clear that we are getting the Fourier transform equal to 2 pi x minus omega and the signal we are having is xt. So the time domain signal is xt and it is having the Fourier transform 2 pi x minus omega and the same thing is written here. And now we will understand this property taking one example. In this example this is the waveform of time domain signal xt and signal xt is equal to 1 from minus tau by 2 to tau by 2 and this time domain signal is having the Fourier transform equal to x omega and this is the waveform of Fourier transform x omega. Now if we replace omega by t 
and we have the same waveform but in time domain this means xt then the Fourier transform of this time domain signal will be equal to 2 pi multiplied to x minus omega this means we will replace the independent variable of this signal from t to omega and then we will perform the reversal operation to get x minus omega and as this is an even signal after performing the reversal operation we will have the same waveform so from minus tau by 2 to tau by 2 we have the non-zero value of this signal and 2 pi is multiplied to the signal so instead of having 1 like this we will have 2 pi now you can visualize the duality property if you have the waveform like in frequency domain you will have the waveform like in time domain so this is all for this property if you have any doubt you may ask in the comment section i will end this lecture here see you in the next one